This is not clickbait. This is a toxic food alert. If you haven't heard of the company Apeel, Apeel produces a plant-based edible peel that extends the life of fruits and vegetables. That is what they say. What it actually is, is another thing. So if you see this sticker on your fruits and vegetables, please don't buy it, let alone touch it because it can penetrate the skin. So this, it's treated with a colorless, odorless, tasteless solution that cannot be washed off. It's treated on both organic and conventionally treated fruits and vegetables. If you go to their website at the time that they had their website, it was only treating, or I shouldn't say only, but it was treating cucumbers, mangoes, citrus fruits, um, just a few things. But now in the United States, it's actually most, almost all different types of fruits and vegetables. Not all, but all different types. And it's also being, it's, it's global. Uh, in Europe, it's namely um, mangoes, pineapples, and papaya, and cucumber. And then all the other different countries, it has some fruits, mostly fruits and some vegetables. The United States is uh, where it's mostly distributed. Surprise, surprise. So APL is a company that is backed by uh, quite a few investment firms, including yours truly, Bill and Melinda Gates Foundation, as well as Katy Perry and Oprah. Now, I'm not sure if they even understood what this solution was, but just so you know that it is being backed by them. This company was initially a fledgling company, and now, because it's being distributed globally, it is valued at several billion dollars. Now, although the website says that this product um, is, according to the FDA guidelines of a grass product, generally regarded as safe, uh, which we know that has a lot of gray area, you need to know here are some red flags. So the first red flag is it says that it's generally regarded as safe and it's just simply a plant-derived uh, edible peel to extend the shelf life of fruits and vegetables. Then why is it that it says that this particular uh, formulation, this custom formulation and custom application needs to be by someone who is trained by APL or uh, who is a direct employee of APL Sciences. So, so that's a, another uh, red flag that should come up. Second is that if you go on their website and you scroll down to where you want more product safety information, you click on the link and it's broken. The link is a 404 page and they haven't updated it since they've put up their website several years ago. Now, according to APIL's website, here are the benefits of using APIL on your fruits and vegetables. It said that it extends the, uh, the peak ripeness of avocados by three days. Uh, there's a 45% reduction of shrivel and decay in apples past the 28 day mark. And 94% of limes also show no signs of shriveling or decay um, after 28 days. And cucumbers can be now plastic free. So after 28 days, it still does not begin to decay. What exactly are they coating it with? I mean, these are organic material. Organic material naturally starts to decompose, oxidize, um, you know, in several weeks versus 28 days. So this formulation was not created for the health and well-being of the end user, the consumer. This was to increase profitability for grocery stores and restaurants and you know any company that is manufacturing a certain type of food product. And ultimately, it can benefit big pharma because if over the course of a lifetime, we are eating all kinds of, of inflammatory ingredients that can cause lifestyle diseases to cancer, Big Pharma is there to give you that medication to help extend your life. So um, is it any surprise that Again, it is for profitability. Why is APL toxic? 
Well, according to their website, it says that APL is mainly made up of um, purified monoglycerides and diglycerides used for emulsification purposes. Now, let's go, let's first define what toxic is. So according to the website, it says that it's containing or being poisonous material, especially capable of causing death or serious debilitation. So, but on their website, it says it's non-GMO, it's vegan, and it is, the trans fat does not come from wheat, soy, fish, self shellfish, um, milk, or eggs, any of those things. So they're trying to make it hypoallergenic as possible. But according to the FDA submission that APL submitted, it actually contains two solvents that are used interchangeably during the manufacturing of this. The first one is hexane, hexane, and the second one is ethyl acetate. So hexane is used as a, um, it, as a solvent for petroleum-based products, gasoline, ink, cement, and in very small amounts as a solvent for processed foods. Exposure to this, both according to their safety information sheet, it can be inhaled or it can be absorbed through the skin, which causes headaches, nausea, dizziness, central nervous system damage, and rashes. So that's the first one. The second one is the um, ethyl acetate. That's also a solvent, and that's mainly used for um, lacquer and paint. Also, again, used in small amounts for processed foods. So this cannot, this is being treated, our fruits and vegetables, where you cannot wash this off. And what's even more alarming is not only in addition to those two solvents, is uh, soap. So soap is the sodium oleate, and it also has ethyl, the two the two solvents, but it also has heavy metals of palladium, arsenic, lead, cadmium, and mercury, with 0.66% citric acid. So all those heavy metals, remember, folks, cannot be washed off. So. Uh, on their website, I think in order to kind of neutralize the shock of them using heavy metals, it also said that in order to ingest one kilogram of this APL, you would have to eat 30,000 apples. But you have to remember, heavy metal is stored in your fat, um, and so it's not easily excreted. And so how, over the course of a lifetime, how many avocados have you eaten because of all the guacamole that you've eaten? How many tomatoes from the salsa? How many times have you gone to a restaurant where you've eaten a salad or some kind of fruit or vegetable where it was treated with APL and we didn't know it? So um, it is it is a big deal. And we have no control over our food sources, no matter how healthy or clean we are trying to eat. So by this time, you're probably overwhelmed by the information that I've shared with you. You're probably feeling helpless and hopeless that we have very little control of what we put in our mouths. But here is three steps that you can do to help this cause. The first one is click below here to share this video with all your family and friends to let them know about APL so that if they see this lo this logo in their local grocer that they actually don't think it's a good thing and touch it and buy it and then eat it. The second thing is I'm going to put two links in the description below. The first one is to sign a um, petition to boycott APL because it's worldwide and they're they're going to try to continue to distribute this even more. So to boycott that, the third is um, a link where you can go onto their website, put in your zip code to find out if in your local area that the grocery store that you go to um, actually is carrying it so you are aware of it. It's in a lot of the major food grocery stores like Albertsons, Kroger, even Walmart, Target, and Trader Joe's, but it's also in a lot of the neighborhood grocery stores. So you can let them know that you will not be buying their produce if they continue to carry APL. And if you are looking for an organic, 
drink that helps you actually excrete heavy metals, then click on the link right here because remember, makeup is an art, skincare is a science.